Welcome, my name is Jamil Samrat. In this video, I'm gonna introduce you to the quantum Fourier transform. And finally, I will demonstrate the inverse quantum Fourier transform using the IBM quantum experience with the help of a framework called QSKIT. You may probably heard about the term Fourier transform, which is used by the community of electrical engineers and physicists. And usually this Fourier transform is used for the purpose of signal processing. And today's modern computers and mobile phones has uh, a capability of uh, doing Fourier transform. As you know, uh, there are two versions of Fourier transform algorithm, uh, namely the discrete Fourier transform as DFT and the fast Fourier transform which uh, have the with, with, with this fast Fourier transform has uh, a much 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 less time complexity as compared to discrete Fourier transform so in this uh, here but our focus here is about the quantum Fourier transform which will be executed on which can be executed on the quantum computers okay so it also has a much less less time complexity as compared to, to faster Fourier transform but it however this uh, quantum Fourier transform will not use to speed up the Fourier transform uh, on the classical data rather uh, it will use uh, to uh, process the quantum data uh, and it has many important advantages that is act uh, which will be acted on as a subroutine on different quantum algorithms so this is a state a given a state of quantum state and we will transform into another state so we have yk is the Fourier transform value of uh, the xj so let for simplicity we have an alternative way to represent this quantum Fourier transform so this is a given uh, state of qubits so what we are going to do is we will just first we will uh, convert all of them into the superposition state and apply a phase rotation on the ket1 uh, side okay so when you rotate that qubit of the phase uh, Fourier transform do like this. So the first qubit, or not, this is the last qubit. The last qubit will be uh, rotated by 0 0.j1. 0, 0 0.j1 means uh, 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 0. This is a binary fraction. So j ends can be 0 or 1. So 0 0.0 or 0 0.1. Okay, this means 1 over 2. And we will go and lastly we will find every values that is binary fractioned let me show you an example so for instance if i have zero zero one this is a state of our qubit so we will find the first qubit to be uh, zero plus e is a power of two by i zero point one so this is means uh, we will take this this position this is one over two and we will take we will make the phase of the second qubit to 0 0.01 and the last qubit to be 0 0.001 okay uh, this is means that this is 1 over 2 so 2 by 2 so we will remain e is a power of pi i and again when you calculate this one you will find this one and finally this is means a phase rotation or a, a z a z gate act upon this state so we will find k0 minus k1 because this is minus and here this is the i or and this is is the pi over 4 i that has put like this value okay this is the Fourier transformed of the state 0 0 1 and as an example you, you have this kind of uh, state and when you Fourier transform apply Fourier transforming you will find this one Okay, you see the difference is this uh, uh, minus value. This is a general quantum Fourier transform circuit 
as you can see we apply Hadamard first and then we will control by the rest of the qubits and uh, as a target we will uh, 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 apply these rotation gates on these the last qubit and then the JN minus one qubit also will apply Hadamard and we will control we will control uh, by the rest of the qubits and finally the as you can see j2 has been had a mark again like all of them but only controlled by the uh, j1 which is uh, rotated by r2 okay the near qubits the nearest qubit will uh, control the higher degree but the last uh, the the first the, the farthest the qubit will control and apply the lower uh, phase so finally uh, only j1 applied on Hadamard and we have to swap uh, things okay just to make the formula correct so this is uh, rk1 substitute k this is rotation by pi over 2 and see the pi the rotation will uh, decrease as the, the number of qubits are increased <coughs> for instance on three qubit this is a famous example of uh, quantum Fourier transform so we need the gates uh, Hadamard R2 and R3 R2 means when you substitute uh, 2 you will have rotation by pi over 2 as I already tell you then pi over 2 means I uh, is a part of pi, pi over 2 is I will remain I and this is known as S gate or root Z gate and we have also R3 uh, this is means that T gate uh, finally we will rotate the uh, one part into this pi over 4 value okay I have to put I over in front of you and this is the inverse quantum Fourier transform th th this is uh, that is applied on many quantum algorithm okay and this is on three qubits so as you can see this is exactly the inverse of the Fourier transform when you uh, when you see this one we have finished on the swap but this will start from the swap and as you can see k1 has been applied lastly on Hadamard so we have to first apply the Hadamard on k1 again and k1 controls the uh, uh, as you can see j1 controls uh, j2 and apply s get and here again uh, we will control by k1 and apply the s dagger this is the inverse of the s get so every quantum gets has its own inverse so we have to apply that inverse um, uh, gets in order to find the inverse quantum Fourier transform. The Hadamard gate doesn't have uh, a, 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 an inverse, you know that, so Hadamard inverse is equal to Hadamard. But this phase rotation gate has uh, its own inverse. Let us see some demonstrations on this inverse quantum Fourier transform. As I already told you that this is the Fourier transform of 0, 1, 1, I mean 0, 0, 1 and this is the Fourier transformed value of this one now what I'm going to do is I will prepare this state manually and apply quantum Fourier transform I mean quantum inverse quantum Fourier transform in order to get this one so first let me prepare this one and apply inverse quantum Fourier transform I have to get this one so I have implemented the inverse quantum Fourier transform in QSKIT using Python like this uh, and I have prepared to the N as this kind of register and, and let me apply this one, let me prepare this one as I already told you, these are all of, all of them has been uh, applied at a mark so I will apply on every quantum register Hadamard and the last qubit means uh, Q, uh, Q in 2 has been shifted 
uh, by pi, which means this is a uh, z gate. So let me say circuit dot apply z gate uh, q in on two. And what about this one? We apply s gate only s gate. Uh, so circuit dot s on q in uh, one gate. Uh, and this is the f the first the first qubit okay index as q in zero it's only we can apply the t gate in order to find the phase at in order to put the phase at pi over four so circuit circuit apply t gate on the first quantum register so this is the state that you can see here this is the state so when up when I apply inverse quantum force transform, it has to f show me this value. Okay, and let me run it. So as you can see, I have run 500 times this uh, algorithm again and again, and I have found 500 times 0, 0, 001. Uh, for instance, for an example two, uh, the only change is. Uh, that when you apply 101 you will find this one the only change is uh, at this position so which means the last qubit before I apply T gate I have to apply the Z gate so I can say circuit and apply Z gate on the first uh, Q in so I have to find 101 right? So as you can see again I have found one zero one five hundred times and this is it this is the quantum Fourier transform uh, in the next uh, time I'm going to show you about the phase estimation until now uh, see you in, in the next uh, in the, at the next time